back for another night of Skyrim. Gonna do a fun stream tonight. Um, it's gonna be a, it's a quest I really enjoy. Um, well, yeah, I enjoy it, even though, um, when I first did I didn't know it was kind of a, uh, criminal element kind of quest. Uh, that you kind of have to do something kind of, I don't know. It's also kind of a quest people do because they're really annoyed by the NPC that is in a fairly populated spot you kind of run past quite often, always pestering you to come and talk to him. Yeah, we're doing that quest. Uh, yeah. The reason, actually, the re main reason I like it so much is that it takes you into a really cool dungeon. Yeah. First up, I'm gonna, um, activate another side quest from Solitude's Executioner. The guy you see, um, executing that one guy once once you enter Solitude for the first time. Because if you do that quest, you get him as a follower. Um, and there's a chance that, um, like, it's, it's one of those quests where you just have to, like, take out a bandit leader in a dungeon. And sometimes that dungeon can be the one you need to go to for the Jawry quest. Like, the the one... It's called Lights Out. Uh... Alright. So, yeah, it's kind of nice to see those, you know, two birds and one stone kind of thing there. Okay then. So the executioner has an office in the dungeon that And it works in spooky dungeon, it's just that was kinda hard to find him. He might wander around. I mean I found him earlier when I was kinda just check checking to see where he was. The torture room. Cages. Whatever this is used for. And a rack. Oh! Someone's there. Ooh. Okay. Okay then. That's been in use. So. Ooh. There he is. Mind yourself in my city, friend. This here axe in full swing is a right terrible sight. You wouldn't be a cell sword, would you? I have a little problem you could solve. I, I'm the headsman here in solitude. It's my job. Depends on what you mean by busy. I'm also the head jailer in the dungeon here. Quiet job, usually. Ain't got one, but I'd fancy a chance at that Jari Ra's scrawny neck. Filthy Argonia never would have set foot in this city if High King Torig was still alive. I can tell you that. Keep your head about you. So no one likes you stay out of trouble. Jari. The Castle Dower dungeon can break even the strongest will. There's at least one other NPC I can think of that will mention him. I may have accidentally let a prisoner escape, the leader of one of those bandit groups. I told everyone he died during questioning, and I need you to track him down and make sure he doesn't show up to disprove that. Sure, falsifying, falsifying claims is right up the Dragonborn's alley. Good. I'll have a sack of coin waiting for you when you get back. Okay. Remember. Yeah, Broken Orc Grotto. I guess it defaults there, so that's where you have to go. Where's the door leap there? Oh, I'll wait. Nope. Yep. Oh yeah, this place is format, um, built like a spiral, that's why, okay. Just been here once before. Neat dungeon, though. Bottom floor is where the cells are, top floor is where torture chamber, offices, and... Tor- and... You know, sort of layout. On White Run. 
every time you pass by, pass by those spots, you know, where the military leaders are, they cycle through the same dialogue. It's not so bad for Castle Dower because um, you don't have to go there very often. You don't have a reason to, really. Um, it does kind of get tiring for um, Palace of the Kings and Windhelm because there are quite a few quests that take you through there. Um, so you hear Ulfric and what's his name with the bear skin helmet talk about something or other. I think it's Bulgroff from White Run. Like, but yeah, they're both talking about the same thing. But you know, strategic, very strategic city. White Run is a nice place. I think it's most people's first option to buy a house. For one, the house is not too expensive, and it's a nice one. And White Run, you know, great, great place to live. I mean, a reasonably distance from other locations, and it doesn't have a, you know, oh, I'm going the wrong way. I could turn around solitude quite easily. And it doesn't have like a awful reputation like Riften or Markar that make you just just say the no to living there. And it, and it's um and unlike the house in uh Windhelm that you can buy, it wasn't used as a murder house. Yeah. Yeah, you you find out that um like there was a murder victim who lived in that house and she is so it's like, yeah I'm sure it lowers down the, you know. It matter how many times you ask. I mean, it sure it lo lowers down the asking price, but that's a guy you need to talk to. Opportunities working in that bar. Talk to him, but he's an Argonian. You look new. I'm new too. I think we could be friends. He's amiable enough, but of course, you know that's all a facade. You also see his um, sister in the docks, and. She's just a douche to your face, and, you know, very, very unlikable. But she gets what's coming her to you. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? Return anytime just kind of want to see what kind of dialogue options I get after I talk with him. I think that's what makes it so you can ask people about him. I find that curious. I hear him, but I can't see him. Oh, there he is. Let it into the wall. You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground, or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us, we're very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats. Oh, the sun's coming out. Ice Runner. Oh, maybe. The Solitude what Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the ice runner would run aground. So he wants you to sink a ship. What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. We're gonna sink a ship. Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for the heroic rescue from their sad crash. Yeah, he sounds very eager to do that. Turn me in? For what? What crime's been committed? I'm just making idle talk about what would most undoubtedly be a tragic event. A tragic and very, very profitable event. Yeah, considering how eager and axe happy the executioner is, and how much he hates that guy, I'm pretty sure he'd haul him in without many questions. He'd be like, oh, finally at last. 
Got the reason to kill that guy. No end to the needs of the Imperials, but it's almost all I have time for these days. The men training here in solitude, and the troops out in the field, they all need weapons and armor. You should look into joining. They could use every hand they can get. Ah, uh, to be honest, no. But High King Torig supported them. And now, her Lady Elisif has thrown in with them. You could say I'm a king's man at heart. I guess that's Yarrow's man now. My loyalty lies with solitude. So, where Jarl Elisif leads, I follow. I think I would, if it weren't for my son and my wife. Oh, same I would have my hide if I even suggested I might step foot on a battlefield. You think storm cloaks and legionnaires are dangerous? Ha! <laughs> it was someone else mentions. Return any time arms or armor. My forge never rests. He's married to a red guard who is the main clerk at the bits and pieces shop. Oh, hello, Kasame. Welcome to the stream. How you doing tonight? Plenty of fresh fish for you. It was nighttime. I mean, it's been raining, so they got here. Really an interesting, like, nice cinematic, the rain with the execution. And his body's still there. And head. There's his head. Can I walk up here with no ill effect? Someone's drinking. Guards can see me. So, let's take a look. Rogvir. Alana Talos. Sure, why not? Oh, Kasame, you killed the headsman. Yeah, I actually watched a video on how to do that. Like, you can actually find a way to stop the execution. I mean, you're not, it's not supposed to work that way, so when you inevitably do do it, it causes a, a bug, and it pretty funny video. Like, seriously, I, I recommend looking that up on YouTube, to, like, stop, stopping Rog Rogbeer's execution. You'll find some... Well, like, there was one I saw in particular that was quite funny. I can't remember who it was from, but... Thought it was neat. Oh, cool! You got his axe. Yeah, he has a really nifty axe. It's a unique weapon. I think his is the only one you could get in the game legitimately. I can't remember what the stats are. It's like it's a. It's like I think it's middle of the road stats for a two-handed weapon. I. That's what I think. It's not fantastic, but it's not you know like an iron or steel one. It's better than that. Um, now, do you remember Kasame? So, do that one a bit. First, let's go to the lighthouse. Okay. It's nighttime. I could test out my candlelight spell because I bought. Bought this to. Oh, look, there are some Khajiit. Should have gotten mage likes. That one kind of. You just put it somewhere so you can. You know. Have it light up a room while you're looking for stuff. I want candlelight because. Um, I like having fun walking around at night. Sometimes it's hard to see. So. Uh, I'll get mage light too, but for now. Can't like it's, also, it's also a lower tier spell, so it doesn't cost as much magic as Mage Light. Like, um, Candlelight's. It's a novice level one, while, um, Mage Light is Apprentice. Not a terribly big difference, but kinda, yeah. But how about, um, you know, your preference? Oh, yes, I remember. There's the, um,. Talk of the new Star Wars trailer. Yeah. Who are I pumped for that? I'm, I'm, I'm not pumped. 
I'm not apathetic. I do. I do want to see it. Um. Kind of thinking, you know what? What? But I'm not, you know, so eager as to want to see it like the first day or anything. I've, ne I've never been someone that uh like came to watch a movie like the day it was released. For one, I just want to avoid the crowds. I was about to have a 19 seconds. Okay. I guess you guys can watch that and come back here. I was talking to a friend of mine who um, lives in Poland and he was staying up to see the trailer but then he decided forget it, I'll just see it in the morning. Because it's a very big time difference. Like right now it's like in Poland, it's uh, 4 a.m., so, yeah. So he clocked out uh, 1 a.m. his time, so that was about three hours ago. Check the map quick. I think it's lower. I think the White House be raised up as long as it's not in certain game aims. Uh, uh, oh. What over there? Come on. Let nah, me just go lower ground. I need to go back up. It'll be fine. Well, there it is. Small for a lighthouse. I think I've seen a lot of small lighthouses in games. I'm, I'm always kind of always in my mind have like that, that tall tower lighthouse. And, well, actually, yeah, it fits that tower lighthouse. Actually, just I kind of see like the lighthouses in some Pokemon games are tiny for the sprite work. Uh, Olivine City not Lighthouse, uh, nonwithstanding, but some of the like there's a one use like there. I think there's one in um, Slateport City in Ruby and Sapphire that's not terribly tall. If you can see the ship shit. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the ship sink. Um. Yeah. Don't think so. I guess you just return to him. To... I'll continue the quest. I need to go to the wreckage, of course. That's gonna be fun. I gotta say, that guy, like, Jarira can be so annoying, um, there in Solitude. So, I've read that a lot of people just do his quest, even if they're playing good, like, um, good aligned characters, they do the quest just to not have to listen to him ever again. Which is fair. Quite fair. light off for this evening, so that's good. Sometimes it's just so dark that the light helps. And the candle light spell lets me use other, you know, have that free hand and like the torch where you have to be holding that. Probably watch the Star Wars trailer tomorrow. Tweet about it. Oh, also! Oh. oh, also, tonight is... not tonight, uh, today, October... well, the day of this recording, certainly. Uh, October 19th 
is my best friend, uh, nameless hero, 2222, uh, that was Portuguese, yeah, okay. It's his birthday today, so happy birthday, nameless hero. Ah, oh, gonna have a party for him Saturday, really excited. We're gonna have birthday pie instead of cake, because he loves pie. As do I. For pie day this year, in March, like there's, like a, one of those kind of, kind of, holidays. Oh, well, you know, I don't know who made, who came up with this, kind of like one of those like, cute, you know, like, like not, uh, called, it's called pie day, and to celebrate we made a pumpkin pie, and that was, turned out very, very well. I like pumpkin pie. And of course, it's a season for pumpkin. So on top of being a um, birthday party for him, it's going to have a Halloween theme to it. Slight Halloween theme, so like, Halloween's not my thing. Um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Nameless Hero 222. Two, two. No. Nameless Hero 2222. Two, two, two. Yeah, let me... um. He's on Twitch here. He's popped up during the streams. Uh, I think he should be around. Oh, wait, I'm going in the wrong place. Yeah, it's like it's nighttime. It's not like I'm missing anything. And of course, it's Skyrim, so most quests bend to your to your schedule. Can't think of any of them that are. Off the top of my mind, I can't think of any that actually have a time limit. So. Here's that guy. Let's get spotlight. Looks like you had no trouble. For witnesses. The effects have already been felt. The Ice Runner has failed to dock on time. Without the lighthouse, the Ice Runner will have swung wide of the western shoal and run aground on the eastern coast. My sister Deja will be at the wreck with our Black Blood Marauders. She knows to expect you. Yes. He's seeing her. I mean, she's so horrible. Um, his sister. Like, she wanders these docks during the day, and you can't really talk with her, but she's one of the kind of NPCs where if you talk to them, they, they say something, but they you can't ask them anything or respond. Um... Well, absolutely, I'll tell him happy birthday. If it doesn't pop up tonight, during the stream, I'll let him know. So, Nameless Hero, when you're watching this later, um... Uh, Kasame says happy birthday. Oh yeah, but, so, but, but Deja's so terrible. Um, she'll just, like, threaten you stupid things. and It makes what's coming up a bit later in this quest so much more gratifying. I like this quest because of that, actually. I mean, if I play like a good aligned character, and this one isn't. No, no, he's, not, he's mutual. He's he's a mercenary, so he does whatever. Um, but even if my, with my main good sorcerer character, um, I did this quest without knowing really and without any kind of perception it was bad, but fun, it's, it's a fun quest regardless, I mean, really good, yeah. Uh, I'll just ignore my traps. It's not like they're gonna succeed in chasing you down. <laughs> Star Wars time, yes, good point. I really didn't think of one of, you know, tying my stream along with that, but, yeah, Time my streams for me. And for friends if you watch. Wreck of the Ice Runner. Okay. Another tomb over there. You've already lost. 
But what's going on here? Is that just a mage NPC that popped up, or...? Oh wait, no, it's one of the Marauders. They're not attacking me yet, because they don't need to. Will, though. And, yep, they didn't hold up there under the bargain and rescue the sailors, so... Ha! I'm going to enjoy this. Once again, I can make some highlights out of this video, because I quite like... I quite like this quest. Mostly the dungeon that we get to later. It's so cool. That and like the knife point hollow that I did in last stream is another favorite of mine. Was it last stream or maybe the stream before that? My brother told me you were coming. I'm supposed to give you what you've earned. You're supposed to. But I know you're not. Ha! I'm afraid the loot's already been moved. You've been useful to the Black Bloods, though. You've earned a quick death. You're as good as dead! They talk big game, but they come at you. Her and her brother. Low tier weapons. Hide armor. And friggin' iron daggers, both of them. Enough. Bitch. Well, that was satisfying. Now we have to take out her brother next. When I read the note. Oh, good. The trailer was good. The Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Wars trailer. Want to take a look at that later? Try to read about it. Oh, I'm in the wrong menu bit. Alright, sister, once you have picked up the packages, send them on to me at Broken Ore Grotto. The fool who did our work at the lighthouse should arrive shortly thereafter. Make sure he's taken care of. Is that a way to treat your Argodian buddies? No. Where's a st steel dagger? Either way, she expects to win with that. No. Wish I had a finishing move on that chick, but nah. It's empty. Dwarven helmet. I want to take these. Because they're cool. Healing potion. That's some nice stuff in this room. Okay. But enough of that. Let's get to killing some douchebags. Ha ha. Fighting the pirates. Uh, no, it's okay, Kasami. You don't have to tell me about it. Uh, I want to watch it and get the surprise on my own. That's alright. Thank you, though. So, yeah. The pirates are gonna die. Is someone there? Boom! Oh. Yes, someone was there. Ah, upskirt. I gotta admit, I really don't care for um the leather armor on the guys. Because to me, it looks way too much like a pencil skirt. Um, it's fine on the ladies, for, you know, for that reason. But on the guys, it's just kind of off-putting. Sailor, what's he wearing? Oh, okay. Well, he's dead. He's not going to use that money, so.
Oh, there's a skill book in here. Yeah, I can always come back later. Ooh, cool. Oh, he saw me. Not that matters. Oh, kill strike on the shield, lame. Oh, mass nah, user. Bam. Loving it. Okay. These are weak ass pirates. Which I'm fine with. I mean, that's still makes it fun for me. <laughs> What's in the cupboard? Damn. Do I have the Savage Strike? I don't think I have the Savage Strike perk. Um, do one perk to spend. Oh, Savage Strike. No, I don't have that one yet. My, my character's not that high level, he's still level 14, so... Uh... Yeah, I'll probably get up to it. How'd you get this one, though? You get better power attacks. Because I'm using, you know, predominantly sword fighting character, dual wielding, too. With some magic in the mix, too. Cause that helps. And some basic books. I like that outfit, but I think I already have a set of that. And I'll toss it away to get rid of weighted clothes. So I think I got to fight some guys outside, so I should get my get this ready. Oh, so Savage Strike is the one that just decapitate people. Good to know, thanks. Where are the douchebag pirates? I think they can see me, but I can't see them. There's one. BAM! Well, Skyrim will be alive, but you clearly are not. Any more? Come on, I want to shank some more people with dual swords. It's so gratifying. It feels so good. <laughs> oh, some studded armor. That sells really well and it doesn't weigh too much. Set of clothes. Yeah, I don't think I have that set for this character yet. feel like such a level of achievement when you get a, one of those a cool looking finishing move. And I quite like it. It just you just feel like such a badass. Though it does screw you over sometimes when you get when it's a finishing move uh, with an arrow, because sometimes the, like the cinematic will just bug your arrow shot and it comes out weird. Um that's active, I should get that other quest going. Because the guy's in the same place. Oh, he's... Uh, someone's asking me if I'm going to get Star Wars Battlefront. The new one. I would like to, um... First, I need to get next... Well, I could get it on PC. I will get it at some point, because, um... I love, love, love Star Wars, ba Star Wars Battlefront 2. My, really one of my favorite games on the original Xbox. So much love for that game. So I would like to get um, the new one. I didn't get a chance to play the beta. Um, that was my fault. I kind of didn't know when the period was and how long it would be. Um, 
But if it's if it's anywhere near as good as Star Wars Star Wars Battlefront 2, I'll totally buy it. There's a fox on this island. Or a little bit. No, it's an island. I think I've seen, um... <laughs> I've seen, um... Oop, workers don't want to get in fight lives. I think I've seen, uh... Deer swimming in the dock, like swimming by the docks of Riften, so that's very strange. Yeah, I haven't played Star Wars the first... Oh, I keep having trouble saying it. I've never played the first uh, Star, War Star Wars Battlefront game, just the second one, and I love the second one. But, yeah, I mean, I don't, I've, like, really, I've never played a game that had um, flying mechanics that good. Well, flying mechanics, you know, where you can come in and out of the plane at your leisure. Um, like, Star Fox Assault did it, but it, it's control for garbage mode, like, most of the time, the controls were garbage in Star Fox Assault. I mean, I got a minute. I, I Star. I mean, I mean, well, the flying mechanics were the flying controls were fine. It's just when you're on foot that the controls were just a, a, a total mess. Um, so yeah, Star Fox Assault, not my favorite Star Fox game at all. Not just that, but they couldn't even get they couldn't even get the voice acting right. I mean, e I mean, even the voice acting in Star Fox 64, which is uh, cheesy and wonderful, um, has so much charm. While the the voice acting in in uh, Star Fox Assault is just bad. It's not even charming bad. It's just not good bad. And it sounds really robotic. Like the, like everyone has like a like a odd, like some kind of weird like voice filter for some reason. It's like why? <laughs> But yeah, the space battles of Star Wars Battlefront 2 were just tops. Another one of my favorite features was, um... I forgot what the name of the kind of match set was. But it's the one where you, uh, like, good versus bad, like, good versus evil, where you can play as the named... Uh, characters from the Star Wars movies. Um, so you can be like the you know the Jedi versus the Sith, and the other supporting characters. Uh, set with the two like you know the prequel tr trilogy and the original trilogy. Uh, really, um, so, the only thing that was limited was you could only play those in the most icely uh, battle stage. But it's still so fun to flip around, like just ju like being a Jedi character and jumping from roof to roof throughout that little um, desert city. It's so fun. But that's probably my favorite game type in the game was that one, just because it just because it, it gets so crazy. Though I never liked playing um, the dark side for the original trilogy because. Your main sort, like lightsaber characters, are um, Darth Sidious and Darth Vader, and they're terribly slow. They can strike hard, but they're so slow, so they can even get taken out rather easily by um, uh, by characters with um, blasters instead of lightsabers. Oh yeah. That's a good point, Kasama. I like to play. I love. I like playing as a uh, Django and Boba Fett too, because I got the got really cool bonus weapons that a lot of the other characters didn't have. We don't want that one. Aerial bow, steel arrow. Bam. Must be my 
imagination. Yep, the wind just shot an arrow through your friend's head. Gosh, I love the goofiness of the AI and get of the AI in this game. Django and Bo Django. Uh Django. <laughs> that's a that's that's a that's a block game. Um Garbage sells well, the leather armor and whatnot. Where's the other guy's body? Oh wait, there's a chest over there. And a money bag. Novice. Boom. Healing potions. Yay. I have to use a bunch of healing potions for a a dragon fight. Um for one of the quests and quests for Morthal, um, I got one of those like radiant quests from the inn from the innkeeper, and she said, "Hey, there's a bounty letter to take out this dragon." And I was like, "Okay." Pretty intense fight. I should stream that one. Oh, that's where his body is. Okay. And that's been a lot of my dungeon crawls, just leaving a bunch of. Ooh, I can use those for smithing. Try to at least. No, oh, thanks for the tip. Oh! Look at the stream, uh, churchgoer globe. Uh, 96, how you doing tonight? I'll take a look at that link in a bit. Probably after the... Get through the dungeon. Thank you. Okay, guy over there. And... I guess it's a shortcut for later. Maybe. Oh, here's a lever. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just keep walking, guy. No, oh, saw me already. Boo. Come on. Hey, we are Fall back. Bam. Oh shoot, I can't lose corpse. And I can, it's just more of it than I want to go through. <laughs> then, I mean, this is a huge cave, it's really cool. I think it's only one zone though, but boy is it a good zone. Chest. Ooh, stamina poison. Elven bow! So taking that. I really wish I could have played that beta, but it's okay. Okay. 
Okay, I just went in the wrong way. Oh, right. Uh, that's still a good point. No guard station, so eh, that was their fault. Maybe they could see me come in. Ah, that, no. <laughs> This way first. Well, there's no bit with spiders like in that like that one cave I did for thieves' skills. I think I've done this on streams. So I'm gonna do that now. Well. Fire trap. Haha. It's just so much fun doing that. Wait. Oh, someone saw me. Sneaking. Didn't even see him there. Alright. Yes, I do know about the speeder bikes and Return of the Jedi. Sure I heard all the things from these pirates. They left me for dead. Well, no. They tried to murder me. That's right. They left me for dead. Incorrect. Uh, oh. Alright. Tomato soup? I want tomato soup. Okay. I'll start dumping it out later. This new stuff shows up. More potions and poisons. Yay. So far this dungeon's been a boon. So many good things. Right for the taking of these inept pirates. Oh, that's nifty. Oh yeah, I mentioned this. This is really, really badass. I love this. Just, we have the big opening skylight there and this structure created from both parts. And I mean, really, really cool level design. Want to take away the torches because they noticed that. Don't notice what me, don't that? notice me, crumbs. Turn around right when I was coming for him. And that light, so and it's nighttime too, so strong moonlight tonight. <clears throat> I 
No, he's coming this way. Leather armor and whatnot. Should be careful though, because I um the lead pirate in there, not not um Jarira, but um the guy for the for the headsman's quest. Uh, he's a bit tougher than the run-of-the-mill pirates in this place. I can snipe them out. Bam. That was a great sword. Visible again. Ah, <sighs> that was a miss. Oh, no. well, there's Jarira. Right over there. I know I need to start dialogue with him first. To you see me when you get bored, at least I, re I really like to. There's a captain, so they're in the same spots. Just getting jumpy, I guess. Okay. Got him. This is even like a sniper character, but I'm still having a lot of fun shooting these guys out. All right, now to get back to stabbing them. Say a good place. Getting close to the bosses. Did the other guy fall into the water? He might have. Oh, don't want to do that myself. Someone's chopping wood. Oh, that's where this guy is. Alright. Don't see me through the crates. Oh, snap, he heard me through the crates. What was that? 
I don't want to be that to be a reveal. Give me a moment. Sorry about that. Stakes were made. A lot of oil and lamp bits around here. Thought I heard something. Darn it again. Thank goodness I can breathe underwater as an Argonian. Some guy's chopping wood. I can hear the, the wood chopping. Where there's so much, so many oil spills and lamp lights in this very, very wooden structure. chopping wood, now they can take out the guy hammering armor. shoot him just to be safe. Don't want to get seen through the doorway by the other two guys. Boom! Dead at the workstation. Okay then. Whoops. Yeah, you. What, no conversation? Fine then. Oh, by the way, your sister's dead. And you're going to be joining her soon enough, dog. Really need to watch out for that guy. Boom! Got him. I need to watch out for the He's coming for me. Oh, actually, I should use some of my potions. Or poisons that I kind of got on the way here. I 
I want to use this, actually. Yeah, I'm getting all the help I can get because this guy's actually really coming after me. Ooh, I'm getting a level up. Okay. i use that now. Yep. Good time to use it now. Alright. I need some magic. Uh, I'm not using any point yet. Ugh, golly, that stung. Okay. That's why I said this guy's surprisingly tough. Uh, where am I? Bits of armor to help. those things. Tomato soup. That's tomato soup. What ingredients go into that? I'm not sure. Ah, I want to hold on to that. It seems unique. Okay. Right, now I'm about to die, so I should really... Okay. I got that poison. That's weak poison. I want, good, I want the good stuff. Try the stamina one first. Got it. Okay. No. I just know this is a tough boss. I want to make sure I hit him with all the poisons. At least the ones I really want to expend. Okay. Never be too careful now fighting against the. Oh, hi, Nameless022. Welcome to the stream. So glad you can make it. Happy birthday! And Kasame says happy birthday too. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Hope you've been having a great day. Let me check to see if I have something. Oh, I just remembered something. Um. No, wait. No, it's a lot. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me just... really hate fighting guys with war hammers. It's like, I can never be too careful. I'm like a phobia now, practically. Ugh. Oh, potions, potions, potions. Oh no! Nah, that's a shame. Oh yes, Broken or Grotto is the name of the dungeon I'm in right now. It's for a big part of the quest, uh, Lights Out, that you get in Solitude, and also, um, it's the same location of a quest you get from the Headsman in Solitude. Sorry for dying just there. Like I said, I really hate going against enemies with Warhammers. Just because they hit like a tank. Oh, come on. There's Jarira. I'm sure I heard something. Wait, kind of. Switch into my bit of this here. Also boosts up my health rating. Dead. Who did this? Can you see me through the floorboards? Uh rats. 
healed, and I may still yeah. show mercy. Like saving the best for last. Gonna have to hide a bit now. I think it's really neat that the Argonian NPCs can hiss during combat or... I just heard Jirari hiss just now. Healed, and I may still show mercy. <laughs> Taking his time over there. Can they still... Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Not sure what you're supposed to do with that there. And this got quite awkward. Reload that. Sora. Cool quest, great reward. I need to do that one. You should see me when you get bored, straight. Okay. Wait. I just heard him start the dialogue for when he talks to you in solitude. No. No, this can't be happening. No, 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 not already. Did you hear something? <sighs> Hello? Who's there? <sighs> Come on. Been off my game tonight. It's just a week away from the launch of Halo 5. I mentioned I'm going to do a kind of a build up, a bit, couple streams. So now everyone's going to get pumped for that. But we'll release the game. I kind of want to. I want to have some fun, too. Good! You've got me a couple times, and I don't want that to happen again. Let's see how the rest of the crawl goes. <laughs> yeah, yield and he might, sh uh, uh, like, lower your weapon, you might yield. Then considering how busted the yield system is, that doesn't work most of the time. <laughs> hmm. here after all. At least I'm fortunate the henchmen pirates are totally weak and not close to the caliber as the other two. You should 
to the cap. I want to see if I can shoot the captain boys in the bed. I probably can't. Nope, didn't work. Nope, still not working. Wow, really not working. I guess I was just hearing things. Got a little baller that they had to lump these two guys together in the same spots. Perfect for me, Necklace of Squire. Yes. Ooh, to sell. Well, he's dead. Uh, almost about to fall. Okay. Skyrim. I'm gonna actually get that on because that's gonna help my light armor rating. That was such a lucky break. Oh, I didn't put that on yet. Okay, now it's on. And... Where's the helm? There it is. Longs to the Nords. You can't hide from me. Like, you can see me, but not really. There we go. I wish I could activate the dialogue, but I guess if that guy's still alive, it bugs it, so I probably should have killed him first to see what his dialogue is once you find him. You know, him, and he tells you, like, he killed my sister, and it's like, she, she hit me first, and you're like, yeah. 80% self-defense, 20%. I kind of wanted to. <laughs> oh. Aha, okay. Let's take out this totally annoying, totally overpowered douchebag. His AI shows that he can see me. Okay, let's see. We're going the other way. Maybe. I'm just really having fun with this. <laughs> there he is. Oh. He senses me. I can see me through the floor cracks. It's hard to tell these guys. Mm. Nothing here after all. Oh, good place to auto-save. Get a, I'm gonna get a poison on my blade. I want to do the one that damps the stamina, because that's gonna keep him from doing so many power moves. Oh, he's going to bed. This is great for me. Boom. Okay. I 
before I do that. Get the fire poison. Not that, not that much, but every school bit counts. Especially on an enemy this strong. <laughs> Wait, why still crouch? Jeez, Lou. I forget to do that too often. To uncrouch. Okay. Now. This is where I get my revenge. Oh! Hell yeah! Finishing move! Toads! Fantastic. That's going to be a highlight. Probably. <laughs> because I hated you, you're going to be new. Because I... Now let's steal all the treasure these pirates nabbed. Oh, it's his journal. What's this guy have to talk about? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Eighth of Evening Star, 4E, um, 200. Jarira is up to something big. He wouldn't tell me exactly all that. Yeah, I think this probably makes more sense when you kind of read it before you do the quest. Um, yeah. He wouldn't tell me exactly all he said was... It'll be just like the good old days before the cave-in sealed my boats in here. Oh, I guess this used to be more open area then. What's in there? Or, I don't know. I just, yeah. We can't send our ships out anymore. Uh, what is he hinting at? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. He wants to know what loot we have saved up. I don't care what he says. I'm not telling him anything about my stash. It stays down there where it's safe. Well, oh, actually, probably a good idea for me to read this. I can't imagine he'd ever jump in the murky water, let alone swim down to the sunken boat. Okay. It's on. Jarira and his sister, uh, Deja, have something cooked up. All they need is a scapegoat. I wonder where I'll find someone dumb enough to do what they say. Hey. There's bound to be someone out there. Well, I might have done what they said, but I was smart enough to come back and know what, what's what. I took the iron dagger. I didn't want that. Ugh, I'm making a bad case. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. What we have? Dwarven shield! Yes. Money. Lockfix. Steel Balax. No. Ropes restoration. Good. Yeah, I want the steel battle axe. I want the boiled cream treat, though. We actually need that for a quest. Actually, a couple quests, but only one at a time. Sadly. Alright. I mean, it will make sense, you know, I had to get. You only give it to one person, not the other. Oh, I'm carrying too much balls. Okay, let me dump off some garbage. I'd like to see if I can try to smith that better. I don't know. Probably not worth it. Uh... I don't care for the hide shields. Okay. Alright, let's see what they were cooking up here. And steal it for myself. Ooh, ooh, I can actually smith some stuff here so I can get rid of some inventory. Ooh. Great. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I have nine leather. How many leather straps do I have? I'm also in, uh, over encumbered, so I need to take care of that. Leather. Just make the leather bracers, because that's... I mean, it's... They're easy to make, and... Get the points for them. Okay. There we go. Now, let's see if I can... No, I didn't want the, the sword. Darn it. i dump up more. There. How about I compare to what I have? Oops. Nah, same. That gets better. I could just improve these, sell them for, mon for, for more money. Yeah. That's a small boost, boost to the my smithing stat. Alright then. So I need to see the sunken ship and there's a treasure there. So I'm going to need to check that out. Probably in here somewhere. In the murky water. Yes. Broken ship. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, that hurt me so much. I can't. Oh, that was silly of me. So, so, so silly. Oh, healing. You can use magic while you're in the water. Ow, oh, the healing stat. Oh, welcome back, Kasame. I just uh, finished off the boss. Now I'm uh, looting the treasures. In the dungeon. Found out there's a journal that he has that mentions where he has a chest somewhere here. Maybe that's not the right maybe this is the right boat. I mentioned a boat, it might be somewhere else in the dungeon. Sunken boat. After, you know, one death and a couple, um, reloads, finally got through that. Quite happy, though. Oh, that's that guy's body that I want to find. Okay. Oh, we had lockpicks. Wonderful. Alright. There we go. I think that was the treasure he was talking about. I mean, the, you know, sunken ship, treasure chest, so. Wasn't a great little loot, but it was something. Well, I feel accomplished. So now I'm going to turn in that quest to what's his name, the headsman, and sell off my bounty. Wonderful. Oh yes, Nameless Hero is still here. I, I told him, um, happy birthday. I told him you said happy birthday. He is very grateful. <laughs> oh, it's daytime. Are there enemies nearby? Nah. What, a mud crab? Be real. Maybe it's just a slaughter fish or something. Ugh. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Well. Workers. If I don't have to wear a helmet, I won't wear a helmet for an Arconian, because, you know, you look so cool if you're horns and feathers like that. Alright. Oh, magic. Right. That's what I wanted. Okay. World alteration and destruction and whatnot. Yes. Okay. And still don't have enough for the Savage Strike. But that's coming soon. So I'll wait to use that thing. Now let's see if I can fast travel. Want to sell off a bunch of nonsense. So I'm trying to schedule, like, plan out things. I need to do the Halo streams and lead up to the Halo Halo 5 release next Tuesday. Um, definitely gonna do Halo 1, well, Halo Anniversary, so Halo 1 from that. Uh, Maybe Halo 3 and 4. Not not sure about the other ones. Pretty see how it goes. Definitely, definitely Halo 1 and Halo Anniversary. Play some of that. Campaign, I believe, yeah. Alright, see you in a bit. Hello. Kasame. Sister, everyone does. Beer. Huh. You know, you've got a certain fire in your eyes. Just like my beer and... Please, feel free to look around. We've got a bit of everything. I did do a mission for the Thieves Guild. Some might call this junk. One of the, um, Me? things for Vex or Delvin. And... I had to go into this store to... It was, it was for Delvin. It was where you had to change the... Like, change their accounting numbers and their books or whatnot. And... So I, ha so I was there, um, so I came in here, but every time I came in here, she was always awake and sitting in this chair, even when it was like, like, 1 a.m. or whatnot, and it turns out there are only four, um, not four, two beds in the house, so if her husband or son goes to sleep before she does, she just kind of wanders around the store, uh, well, that's annoying, uh, I had to restart that a couple times. What I ended up doing was I might I might just enchant that for the restoration ability, maybe. Yeah. So what I ended up doing was I just had to come in in the day and just sneak around quick and get to the book before anyone in the store kind of noticed I was moving around there. Yay, speech crap. Oh yeah, got that for becoming Thane of um, Morthal, where the the region's called. I can't even pronounce that. Hyal March, I think. I might be wrong. But yeah. No way. I, oh, wait, I had the fine sticker. Okay, never mind. I sold something by mistake, but now. I want to keep the Dwarven stuff. I'm not going to use it, but it just looks so cool. I love the Dwarven junk. It's...
I think if you sell each thing individually, it adds to your um, speech craft uh, bonuses. But if you sell them all at once, you just get it for like one sale. So it's best to sell them one at a time, I believe. Okay, she's out. Oh yeah, she's out of money. I promise. Okay. Uh. Leaving her one gold. Unless she has something I can use. One lockpick. I'll also grab that. Okay, then leaving her seven gold. Cool. Not sell to her husband, so I can. Cause I got a lot of, lot of good loot from that dungeon. Seems there's no way. Take a look. Since they're in different locations, they don't share. Um. Not inventory. Oh, um. Can't think of what I'm trying to say. Oh, they don't share, um. Money. Yeah. Yay, speechcraft increase. Okay. Oh, I have weapons to sell. Wait, no, I already sold it. Yeah. Take care of the weapons. It's mine. I need to get rid of that. Oh, I should get rid of these. Is there... oh, I like to collect them, though. They're cool. So. And it beats bank paying for them, so. No. Okay. Um. Right. I think that's everything. Do I still have a bunch of? Oh yeah. Well, so it's that. So that's twenty-four from that. One from that, but that's. Not much of anything. Um, Seventeen of that. I know that. And alchemy ingredients, cool books, journals, whatnot, potions, Mayo's potions. By the way, okay. So I should turn that quest to the headsman. Here. Ah, I don't know why I get so turned around in solitude. Right, so we just uh, killed a bunch of pirates after uh, enabling their crime in the first place, but uh, we set things right. So I call that a I call that a draw. <laughs> I can't stream tomorrow night, Tuesday, uh, so I'll try Wednesday, and that's when I'll uh, open up Halo Anniversary. Yeah. And after the Halo streams, uh, oh, I should mention first, I probably won't be playing Halo 5 anytime soon. Uh, not because, well, not, not, I don't know, in all honesty, I should probably just put it out there. Uh, I used to be a big fan of the Halo games. Uh, emphasis on used to. Uh, just haven't really you stay out been happy with how the series has been going. Not much work being a jailer, long as you could ignore the pleading and all that. That's a load off my mind. Here's your pay. Oh, that's good money. Keep your head about you. Alright, so take care of that. 
Wonderful. Alright, so we took care of two quests in one location. Call that a good night. I call it even better night because it was uh, two quests in a dungeon I really like going to. So, yeah. Really glad I was able to share that with everyone. Uh, yeah, I'll be back to stream Wednesday with Halo Anniversary. I'm gonna be playing some of that. Uh, see how far I go. We have specific Probably since there's only no. I'm not interested. By then, it'll just be six days until Halo, like six or five days until Halo comes out. Um, probably just do Halo Anniversary in that stretch of time. Um, I'll be talking a lot about you know my history of the games, how I've um. Why my opinion of them has changed over the years, and you know, good stories and some not so good stories, but also fun playing the game and really gonna be interested in that. Uh, can't wait to do that. Hope you guys are there to watch. Um, my tail goes to the bench. So yeah, thank you so. Oh um, thank you so much for watching my stream tonight. Uh. You can follow me on Twitter, at GamingGenji, for updates on streams and other videos and other sort of things on my mind. And like me on Facebook. And I'll see you next time. And also, again, happy birthday, Nameless Hero 2222. Have a great one.